We have here today Francine Brokaw, our entertainment correspondent, talking about one of my favorite subjects, the British Royals. I love talking about them for some reason. I think that's everybody's favorite subject, but nobody really admits it. Except for me. <laughs> I admit it. I am absolutely obsessed with them. Like, I'll like read all of the magazines with like Kate Middleton and is she really in a fight with Meghan Markle? <laughs> or are know. they just making it up? Yeah. And uh, yeah, are they just making it up? So I like look for cues or whatever. But you're well, here to tell Francine us the real tell story. Us. Well, so what's the what's really interesting going on? thing is we fought a war to get the the royalty monarchy out of our lives mm -hmm. and yet we are still obsessed with them so it's easy to be obsessed across the pond yeah they're like not ours dresses. so <laughs> yeah it is and, and we like fairy fairy tales we do uh, like fairy tales we do like fairy tales and, and we I, love and fairy I love, tales i love that we have an american princess kind of well not not anymore <laughs> not anymore not anymore <laughs> because she's abdicated so well, what's the thing actually is, going on? well no that's that's the thing is for for years there's been a a, a movement to get rid of the royals over in Britain mm. because they said, why are we spending our money for these people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you've got two royals that say, we don't want to be part of this anymore, so they're gone. Mm -hmm. And you've got Andrew, who is mixed up in some scathingly, dastardly plan with Jeffrey Epstein. Mm. He's causing a lot of um, mm -hmm. grief for the family. Mm -hmm. So now the Brit Brits are sitting back and thinking, you know, our tax dollars are going for these people. Mm -hmm. Why? So mm. the, our war cost us a lot of lives, but those three might have uh, dismantled the royals without any bloodshed. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Some heartache on oh, their side, wow. but no bloodshed. Yeah. But That's I feel sorry for the queen because when she came to be, she was still reeling over the abdication yeah. mm -hmm. that caused her father to become king. Yeah. Right. And he wasn't raised to be king. Mm -hmm. So then she took over. And she has done, she's in her 90s, she's almost 100, she has done a fantastic job of keeping yeah. the royal family in check and mm -hmm. adding to the um, Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. And now she sees this next generation undoing things that she's done. So tell me a little bit more, aren't they the largest landowners in Great Britain? Isn't that part of where I, their they, power they from have comes from? They have so many palaces and mm -hmm. but the thing is they are just figureheads mm -hmm. they don't have any but they're true. a huge fan draw they, they are a fan draw for the Britain country around because of them. but yeah. then the um the brits are wondering do we really need mm -hmm. after all this this drama that they're causing mm -hmm. uh and the embarrassment to the family and apparently now i i read everything i can because they have been in all the entertainment shows, even mm -hmm. on national news. I turned right. on Good Morning America this morning, and they're talking about Harry and Meghan's last royal appearances mm -hmm. as royals. Yes. Uh, they, you know, why do the people need to to support this because they're just bringing some some people are advocating so i want to know a little bit more deep like data like who's who's doing the movement and who's trying to get them out and who's like i know that harry well, the, and megan are leaving yes but what else is happening that's making you say that you know this is unraveling well originally charles mm -hmm. is the next king mm -hmm. and uh he wanted to downsize mm -hmm. the royals. You know, you see the royal family on the balcony, you see a zillion people up there. Mm -hmm. He said from now on, it's just going to be the queen and, and um, Prince Philip, mm -hmm. Charles and Camilla, uh, William and Kate, mm -hmm. their three kids, Harry and Meghan. Mm -hmm. But now Harry and Meghan are gone. gone. I see. So, and then when Charles ascends to the throne, it'll just be Charles, William and Kate, and mm -hmm. Camilla, of course. And the three kids. Interesting. So it's it is downsizing. It's downsizing, but not. But now, because of Harry and Meghan leaving, they had a whole bunch of of um, commitments that they had to do. Mm -hmm. You know that that everybody has assigned all these things. Right. So now Andrew's two daughters are stepping up to take part of it and you know take some of the responsibility on, but. Their disgraced father mm -hmm. is basically absent. I now, the see. thing, the interesting thing is, last year we had Princess Eugenie's wedding, mm -hmm. really big mm -hmm. televised wedding. 
because of Andrew and the disgrace that he's caused, Princess Beatrice, who is getting married in May, I think it's May, she has to downsize. She's downsizing her wedding. Wow. Mm. And it's not going to be televised. Mm. It's just a big seem it's, fair. it's just a big come down. You mm -hmm. see everything just kind of coming down and down. And whether Charles and Camilla can can stabilize it or not, I've heard rumors, now this is just rumors, mm -hmm. that William has planned not to spend his entire life as king. He would abdicate at, I mean not abdicate, but yeah, to abdicate uh, after so many years to his son, and so almost that like was a just presidency. a rumor, though. So. Like as a like a two-term presidency, almost. Wow. Well, like well it's 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 a it's a big job, but yeah. the thing is, I feel like if the queen has a stroke or a heart attack in the next couple of months, it's the stress from her family. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think it's anything external. I think it's all what her family has done to her mm -hmm. legacy. And I would, I feel so sorry for her. Yeah. But then again, okay, so this she's is had a history of of this kind of drama in the family mm -hmm. before. Yes, she with her sister, it. And well, her sister, and her sister, and went Charles and Camilla and Diana. Exactly, and the whole story in there. Exactly, like, I think the story here, for my opinion, is what an amazing woman this mm -hmm. lady is. She is strong. She is she's a she's rock. remarkable. She is she's a strong rock. Tough. She can handle anything. Well, we that, hope, we hope, well, but we'll see how. I believe that she, she apparently will come is heartbroken. Too. She I'm apparently, sure. and um, um, uh, Meghan and Harry, their last trip, they're, they're, they're right now, did not bring their, mm -hmm. their um, son, little Archie, mm -hmm. which disappointed her because mm -hmm. she would like to, how, how much longer is she going to live? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but then again, because this is an entertainment segment, <laughs> we need to make it entertaining. <laughs> As if it's not already. <laughs> what, can we, what can we watch about this? Well, no, there's so many. Well, there's documentaries coming up about, okay. about Meghan and Harry and the Mexit. Okay. But, um, but if you haven't watched The Crown, well, you really sure. have to watch The Crown. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Victoria was a good movie. That too. But there are, there are so many movies that have come up. Like As soon as Meghan and Harry got engaged, they came up with this wonderful docudrama. Mm -hmm. And... It's the same thing they did for uh, Charles and Diana, mm -hmm. and you see, it's like a fairy tale coming true and all mm -hmm. this. We bought into all that, right? Mm -hmm. But these things are not. They're not. And Megan knew what she was getting into mm -hmm. and decided this is not what I want. And prior to Megan, Harry had two really uh, special relationships with women, mm -hmm. and almost married them. But they looked at what was expected of them. And it was said, it's not for me. I want mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. So what I don't understand, I mean, you've got Princess Anne, you've got mm -hmm. uh, Prince Edward, you've got other, other siblings within the structure of the family to delegate some of these responsibilities and actually bring them forward. Well, Anne is doing her mm -hmm. bit. She is a real true workhorse in the family. She's mm -hmm. one of the busiest women women in the family. Anne is really good. But what's interesting, and now with this Jeffrey Epstein thing, God forbid, and I say this really, God forbid something should happen to William and Kate and their three kids, the next in line is Andrew. Mm -hmm. Because the law that made, that said that um, girls could ascend before the, the younger brother, that isn't retroactive. Oh, wow. Oh, that's interesting. So Anne would not be next in line which is really unfortunate. interesting. Yeah. It's and very, unfortunate the whole, because mm -hmm. she would probably be the best. Be a Absolutely. Great, do a great job. She, she would. The thing is that, that just boggles my mind is we are obsessed with everything royal. And I think it came from Diana because she was to them what Jackie Kennedy was to the 60s of the mm -hmm. United States. Right. She brought the glamour. She brought the class to that family that was, in a way, very dowdy. Mm -hmm. And I mean, before Jacqueline Kennedy, you had Mamie Eisenhower. Mm -hmm. So there was a big dichotomy. Contrast. Of, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. a big contrast. So I think that's when we, over here, started thinking, hmm, interesting. the royals are interesting. So where can we go to learn more about this? Where, where are a few places that we can go? True royalty TV. True, really? Definitely. Okay. Definitely go there. Is, that, is that a URL? No, that's a that's a streaming service. Oh, okay. And okay. I highly recommend it. We spoke about this We've spoken in about Valentine's it. Day. Yes. Okay. 
True Royalty TV. They have talk shows. They bring you up to date. They have uh, documentaries on the history of everything. And uh, what, what's interesting is what we buy into as fairy tales behind the scenes are not fairy tales. Right. If you right. want a fairy tale, you go to Disney because <laughs> that's seriously. Well, families are complicated. They and are. No matter, and in the public eye, they become more complicated. Mm -hmm. So yes. I feel for them. I always have. And yes. in the end, they are a family. Mm -hmm. They just happen to be yes. a royal family. So thank you so much for telling us where we can go to find this. And, mm, you're and welcome. I, keeping us up to date on the royal family. And I think that, you know, for me, the take home is, you know, this, this rock of a woman has created an amazing legacy. So She has. Yeah. We hope that it, it continues and that the damage is not going to impact tarnish her, yeah. her mm -hmm. reputation at all. No, Definitely. She's amazing. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yes, Thank Francine. you again, Francine. You're welcome. We'll see you next time. We'll be right back.